Let's look at how to do arithmetic using fractions. First looking at addition and subtraction, and then looking at multiplication. First of all, to add or subtract fractions, you absolutely need a common denominator. So to add 2 fifths plus 1 sixth, I'm going to put each fraction into a denominator which is a common multiple of both 5 and 6. The quickest way to do this is to multiply the two existing denominators, such as in this example 5 times 6, to give me a common denominator of 30 for each of the fractions that I want to add. Next, we need to rebalance each fraction so that however its denominator has changed, its numerator changes in the same fashion. If we have multiplied together the denominators to get our common denominator, this is a simple process of what I call balancing the numerators, in which we multiply the numerator of one by the denominator of the other fraction, and the cross products form the numerators of the new fractions. So for example, multiplying the two and the six gives me a numerator of 12 for my first fraction, and 2 fifths is the same thing as 12 over 30. For the second fraction, I'll multiply the other cross product 5 times 1 to get the numerator of 5, and 1 over 6 is the same as 5 over 30. Now that our denominators are the same and our numerators have been balanced, we're ready to add or subtract whichever is appropriate for the problem. When we do that, we add only the numbers in the numerator, keeping the denominator the same. So I'll add 12 plus 5 and get a numerator of 17 and keep the denominator of 30, meaning that my sum is 17 over 30. Finally, if it's possible to do so, reduce this fraction into lower terms. To do that, I'm going to look to see if there are any prime numbers which are common factors of both the number in the numerator and in the denominator. In this example, 17 has only itself as a prime factor, 30 has 2, 3, and 5 as prime factors, and since the numerator and denominator do not have any factors in common, we cannot reduce it any further, and 17 over 30 is lowest terms. So to add or subtract a pair of fractions, the first thing you must do is find a common denominator. The quickest way to do so is to multiply the denominators of the original fractions. Then, rewrite each fraction using that new denominator. Finally, add or subtract the numerators as appropriate for the problem. And finally, reduce the fraction into its lowest terms. Where adding or subtracting fractions required us to have a common denominator, Multiplying or dividing fractions does not require us to have a common denominator. We'll look at a multiplication problem here, but if this were a division problem instead, we would only have to add one additional step. In order to divide, we would instead flip the second fraction and multiply instead by the reciprocal. So as soon as we know that division is the same thing as flipping the second fraction and multiplying, we're just going to look at the process of multiplying fractions, and after that, you'll know how to divide as well. Again, when multiplying or dividing fractions, we don't have to worry about getting a common denominator, as we did when we added or subtracted. So I'm not going to touch the 4 or the 6 in the denominator of the fractions 3 fourths and 5 sixths that we're about to multiply. So then what actually happens? We multiply, and when fractions multiply, the multiplication goes straight across the numerator and straight across the denominator. So the numerator of our product will be 3 times 5, 15. The denominator of our product, 4 times 6, 24. Now the multiplication step is finished. We just need to reduce our fraction into its lowest terms, if possible. To do so, I'm going to factor both the number in the denominator and the number in the numerator, and look to see if there are any common prime factors. Since 15 has 3 and 5 as its prime factors, and 24 has 2, 2, 2, and 3, we see that there is a 3 which is a common factor of both 15 and 24, and nothing else. So dividing in both the numerator and denominator by 3 will reduce this fraction into its lowest terms. That gives me a numerator of 15 divided by 3, which is 5, and a denominator of 24 divided by 3, which is 8. And 5 eighths is the lowest terms for this fraction. 
So to multiply a pair of fractions, first remember that you do not need a common denominator for that process. Second, when you multiply, multiply straight across the numerator and straight across the denominator, finishing by reducing that fraction into its lowest terms.